Hello guys and welcome to Ray's Tech Portal and today I got a special guest, the owner and creator of Pharos and the VM Rigid. How you guys doing? So I got in live by a team speak for you guys today and we're going to go over the new case that a lot of you guys have been waiting to see and especially if you're fans of his and for my new viewers probably hands down the best case to ever roll out on the market especially if you want that uber customizable case that is going to blow everything else in the market away so i got some notes on this thing that's how much crazy stuff this case does the, the name of the game is expandability and customization if you name it this case can do it as far as even going to add-ons that you can add on to the future and even custom add-ons if you email pharaohs they can make anything you want to make on this case so we're going to start off with introducing uh Mr. Lee, who is the owner and creator of Pharaoh, so I'll let you tell him, tell you guys a little bit about his creative process and what led to this. And I'll hand it over to you, Lee. Uh, what's going on? Uh, I actually, there's uh, two of us that are involved uh, running on Pharaohs, uh, me and Mike. Um, but we got started in this uh, basically trying to get a better looking case. And wall mounting was about the best situation that we were looking for uh getting the case off the floor get away from the dust that gets kicked up by feet um but the ultimate goal is to make it look good i mean if you're putting something up on the wall or it's like a piece of art or something it better look like a piece of art so, uh, so that's pretty much where we ended up uh just keeping it nice and clean hiding as much of the wires as we can uh but being able to mount as much more to it uh, over time as you can. Sounds good. Uh, the one thing I, I wanted did did want to. Uh, sorry, I'm having a brain fart. We're doing this live, guys, so there's no edits, no bloopers, no nothing. Everything's in here, so it is what it is. Oh, there might uh, be there bloopers. Might be bloopers. There might be bloopers. There, there is one thing I want to point this out. You guys know that I am using the Core P5 by Thermal Take. Honestly, this case is so much better, and when I purchased this case, I didn't know this even existed. Uh, another thing, as I said in my teaser video, this case is not on the market yet, and that's why I don't have one to actually show you. And when I get one, I'll do a video and definitely show you guys the real thing. Uh, but the quality is so much better in this case. Speaking of which, it's made out of high-grade, aircraft-grade aluminum with stainless steel rivets whereas our uh, screw down points whereas this case is just holes drilled using coarse threaded screws in order to mount your hardware you'll see my review on this thing where it mentions how horrible that mounting setup is anyways it's very light you can use one finger to hold it up with no problem at all but yet it's very strong strong as a tank it can hold how many pounds lee uh i don't Actually, remember the exact number off it. Uh, each tab on the backside for mounting it to the wall is capable of sorting, uh, supporting 45 pounds a piece. Um, and the case weighs less than 10 pounds. So all that extra weight you can put right into the hardware. Um, it, when we first designed this, uh, it was a bit overkill. It was capable of supporting 800 pounds. Uh, so we drew back on the material a little bit. So it is a thinner material, uh, but once you mount everything on it, it actually uses the components as a structural member of the case as well. Uh, and then obviously once you mount it to a wall, uh, it, it becomes even more rigid because now it's using the wall to reinforce itself. Yeah, and you've got a, a desktop version too, as I understand it, with a back plate that also allows you to use the VESA mounting option. Right, so uh, when designing this case, is the number one thing that irked me with a lot of cases, you pay for a lot of things, but you may not always end up using them. Sort of like when you get cable TV or satellite TV, you only want maybe 20, 30 channels that you actually watch, but you're paying for like 800, fo or 800 channels. Uh, so with this case here, um, since we're using such high-grade materials to help cut the cost uh, to the end user, you only really order what you want to use. And 
So there's a desktop kit, so if you go out buy this mounted on a wall, you don't have to pay for the legs and the backplate. But if you want to put it on a desk, it's a desktop kit, you can sell that to you and then you mount it up and you're all done. Very nice options for sure, so we don't have to put it on the wall if we don't want to. Although most of us are going to buy this case. <laughs> Who are you kidding? If you got the place to put it, it's going on the wall. Right. Uh, <laughs> which brings me down to... Uh, some of the features on this case, you know, uh, it has a hidden side mount for a drive bay on the side here. If you look on uh, this picture here is actually, you're looking at the back of this case, and this right here would be the front. If you look right here, there's a, a drive bay there. You can put anything you want there. Not that we use these disc things anymore, but if you want to put a card reader in there or a fan controller or something, US, extra USB ports, it's there. Guess what case doesn't have that? This piece of shit. Anyways, <laughs> it's also got another mounting location right over here. Uh, it would be this right here on this picture and right here as well. And my monitors went to sleep. But that allows you to mount, you can actually mount a drive bay there as well as a fan controller. The height and depth is adjustable. So you can put anything you want there as a fan controller, even one of the square reservoirs for your water cooling system, uh, or a drive, CD-ROM drive, whatever, a tape drive if you're still using that kind of thing. Uh, so that's definitely an amazing option that this thing does not have and really irks me. Uh, yeah, go, yeah. On, go ahead. Oh yeah, and that was the one thing we wanted to make sure that it can house a lot of things. So. Like you said, there's uh, multiple mounting points that go closer in to flush up with the, the mounting uh, brackets. But there's also one that allows you to bring it out farther. So it'll actually fit all the way up to the uh, cool ants. Uh, God, I can't remember the model number. Basically, it's their dual bay, uh, dual D5 pump uh, reservoir. It, it'll fit that all the way in there as well. Which is also a, a really cool feature because... I do, I do like the cylinders, but there are some really cool drive bay reservoirs out there too, and this, this case gives you the option to do both or one or the other. If you dream it, you can build it with this case, which is what I really love. Uh, this maker community is really getting to be a, a cool thing for us at the end because if you dream it, you can make it, and there's somebody out there that wants to get it. You don't have to go through the multi-corporation bullshit anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I really like that movement. As far as hard drives, this case can do standardly, in this configuration that you see on my screens, it can do two full-size hard drives, which is the uh, 3.5 inch. There's an upgrade kit to where you can bring that up to four total. And now this is where I'm going to lose you folks. Your, your, your mind's just going to blow. Three SSDs or 2.5 inch drives, or with the upgrade kit, 20 SSDs, or 2.5 inch hard drives, count that 20. Now you've got a data server that you can hang on your wall because with 20 SSDs you can really make a hell of a, a gaming rig or even a media server uh, for your videos using a program to stream your TVs and your Xbox and whatnot in your house. So this thing's got a lot of expandability on it. Uh, as yeah, we... uh, Go ahead, Lee. And the, uh, there's the uh, hard drive covers too uh, to where you can expand. Uh, but another feature that we designed it for was uh, there's a company out there called Bits Power that designs uh, hard drive water blocks. And the problem is, is typically you don't get a way to mount those where you get to see the actual water block. That same mount, you can reverse it, mount your hard drive to it, and then be able to visually see your hard, uh, hard drive water block as well. Which is another cool thing. Can't do that with this. Can't really do that with a lot of cases. They don't give you the room for it. And uh, Pharos here is looking out for you. They, if if it's something you can think of doing, it, I guarantee you Pharos has come up with a way to do it. I've, I've had several meetings before this video with him. And I'm shooting off ideas. And he's like, whoa, by the way, we've already got that. So stay, rest assured that any upgrade you guys could want on this case, they can make it if they don't already have it. Yeah, we're, we're continuously adding to the list of everything to expand this case. Now, obviously, you're probably going to water cool your motherboard with this because obviously that looks really cool. Are they going to use rigid tubing or are you going to use the flexible tubing like I've got behind me? Uh, it does support 
240 rads or dual 120s on the base model. Uh, if you get order the upgrades, which I'll let Lee talk to you about that, because there's there's five different kits that have different uh, attachments and radiator sizes. This is your fully upgradable tier that you're going to have available to you at the time that Kickstarter launches for the early birds that want to get on this case. Now, I'm going to hand it over to Lee. He's got uh, five different models that have different features on each, and I'll let him explain what the differences are between those. So basically, uh, we got the Alpha, the Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. The Alpha is going to be the biggest model. Uh, it would be the average build uh, or entry build uh, into a computer case. So you can use an all-in-one water cooling system, or you can use a uh, just a heat sink with fans and just mount fans in the uh, the area to the right where the rear radiator would be mounted to. Uh, then from there, you go to the Bravo and the Charlie. Uh, basically, these add the wings on the side of the plate uh, to where you can mount uh, triple radi uh, triple rads on either side uh, with push-pull configuration, if you like, um, without acrylic. And then the Charlie is the same thing, but it's a wide uh, angle, 45-degree uh, angle out. And you can also mount radiators and fans to it as well. And then the only difference between those two for the Delta and Echo is those cases respectively with acrylic windows added. So the, the uh, acrylic uh, window is not necessary, it's just an uh, aesthetic. Right. Um, and there are some people out there capable of doing their own acrylics and all, or may have a different idea. Um, <coughs> but we don't want it to seem like you come to us and then you're on your own at this point. We also want to help provide a, a complete solution. Uh, right now, we're doing a, a full build on the uh, Echo kit right now. Or uh, actually, technically, at this point, it would be more of the, uh, the Charlie. So we don't have acrylic on it. Uh, and we want to just see how it reacts to everything and how it looks. So I understand you're, you're building uh, another custom rig right now. Uh, is that correct? Which one are you building? Yep, uh, yep. The, Charlie. Uh, the Charlie. As we speak, I, I take it. Yeah, yeah, actually, I was just in the garage uh, putting it together. And you're, uh, you're transplanting the uh, Facebook, what's on your Facebook cover. You're actually taking that equipment and putting it on your new case. Right, right. Awesome. So, yep. that, so it'll be a dual loop system, uh, two triple radiators. Uh, I'm only going to be running a push configuration on it right now. Uh, but then uh, full water block on the motherboard uh, with CPU and then dual GPUs with water blocks. So there's going to be a massive build, and obviously, as you, I've said to you guys, this case is going to be able to handle anything you can throw at it. Uh, yeah. As yeah. much as a no. full tower ATX case is going to be able, this will handle that and more. Yeah, so basically the way we're really looking at it, um, just compared with speaking, like the thermal take, uh, we would consider that like a mid-tower wall mount. This would be more of your full case, or full tower uh, classification. And don't get me wrong, that we're we're used there's only two wall mounted cases there's some people out there that are building these wooden versions you can find them on youtube and uh you know they're great and all but face it most of us don't have the skill or the time to build something like that so really there's only two cases when it comes down to it there's going to be the vm rigid and then there's going to be the core p5 obviously here today you guys know which one i'm going to throw my money at uh, even though i already own one so that really should tell you guys something about it uh, but anyways, we'll continue on. Did you have anything else to say about the uh, the configurations, Lee? Uh, the number one goal with this case was when you buy it, you don't have to buy like an, uh, another mount to mount it to the wall. The mounting tabs are built into the case. Uh, there's no limitations on GPUs uh, because you're still mounting to the motherboard tr like a traditional case. And it holds any so size motherboard, correct? Uh, it'll do ATX. Uh, extra large ATX. Uh, there is room to go either smaller or larger. Um, you may have to modify, like uh, if you were trying to do Aces E, what is it, EBB form factor, um, you would have to probably add some extra tabs. But I mean, it, there's enough room to modify. I mean, that's what we're really excited about is to see where people take this case because not everyone thinks the same way. Uh, there's a lot of different skill sets. 
So uh, when people really start getting going on these, I think they're just going to be outstanding and crazy looking builds. Oh, I, I don't blame, I don't doubt it at all, and uh, that'll be a cool thing for your uh, website, which we'll link in the video down below. Yeah, uh, for yeah. his Facebook page, so you guys can track this and uh, see all the pictures that are coming up. But, but, uh, sorry, Lee. Another thing on our website, we want to make a gallery that's just dedicated to the people that have made these builds, and they can I, showcase them all day long. I was just about to say that I was, was going to say it'd be a really cool thing for those of you on Facebook to show us what you've done with your cases. And I was about to say, I bet Lee would definitely agree with that. We want to see what you guys are doing with this. Yeah, we want to make this a strong community to where we're always evolving together. Uh, now, you guys obviously are going to be making uh, several add-ons right out of the gate. Are you going to continue to support this case in the future and make additional add-ons for it and even possibly support other makers like yourself that are going to make their own custom add-ons for the case, and if you see something popular, are you going to embrace what other people are creating on your oh, case? Oh, that, absolutely. I mean, that that's the, the beauty of the modding community is everyone plays off someone, puts a new twist on it, and just, it, it grows drastically with the more minds that go into it. So, I mean, there'd be no reason not to support people that are, coming up with different designs to add to the case. He's going to come out with some acrylic plates that you can mount behind your motherboard or power supply that is edge lit, and you would put your RGBs behind your piece of acrylic, and the edges will light up, and you can do color changing whatever that way as well. It's going to look really stellar. Now, as far as I understand it, you're not going to have those on release, but you're working on having them in the future, correct? Right. Um, so we're going to provide the acrylic already pre-cut with the edges and stuff like that. We haven't... Or at least we hope to. Uh, we we want to make it to where it's universal with uh, all these LED RGB kits that are coming out. But then at that point, it's also trying to get it to orientate where it remains clean. Uh, if we do them in individual pieces, now they got to find a way to route the wires where it's nice and neat. In order to achieve something like that, they would have to drill holes basically for each one. Or if we designed a full plate that covers the whole case, and they put it on and then mount everything over on top of it, uh, then they only they can de daisy chain all the LEDs together, and then only have to run one set of wires down into the power supply or the controller. So that's something we're working on right now. Um, we're we're hoping to have it really soon, but we won't release it until it's 100%. Uh, just like with this case here, we didn't want to release it until we had all the bugs worked out, and uh, we felt really confident that it was a, a solid foundation. Yeah, as I understand it, you've been working on this for about two years, uh, research, development, yeah, yeah. And, uh, trials, as well as making the, uh, the original version could probably stop a 9mm bullet with no problem. <laughs> I don't know if it would be that much, but it was, yeah, it was capable of supporting 800 pounds, so it was A little overkill. It yeah. was way overkill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we went through eight design change he spent a lot of time on this to make sure it's good this is not just something that he built in his garage and threw together and now he's trying to sell that this is equivalent to anything you would buy from a well-known case manager so the cable management will be able to go through the wall you can actually cut a hole in your wall and run your cables down so you see nothing but the case air and then your monitors it, it's going to look absolutely stunning to be able to do it that way and but that's definitely one of the main things. I mean, we all hate cables, don't we? I don't know anybody that says, I'm going to build a case and uh, make my cables prominent. That's definitely. another thing, too. Uh, even if uh, people aren't mounting the drywall, I mean, they can do that and then make their holes. But uh, we also wanted to make it in case someone was mounting to, like, a concrete wall or a brick wall. They, they obviously can't drill pathways through that. They'd have to have it already implemented. Uh, but there's a opening down at the bottom where you can pass the cables directly down and uh, also use... Uh, then shielding to hide it, make it look nice and neat. Then uh, I understand it that uh, if say you know it's not all of us have a ton of money to buy the Mac Daddy version right out of the gate, but if we mm -hmm. say start out with the Alpha and later on we decide okay well now I got three Titans for whatever reason I need those for, but I need to keep them cool so now I need to buy those wings to add on for my 360 rads. That's not a problem, right? Nope, not at all. Everything will be interchangeable with this case. All the lines are all based off the Alpha, so it is literally the foundation to go in any direction with the accessory. Build off itself, so 
Uh, and we have other brackets coming out, and we'll start making uh, ones that will support 140 millimeter fans as well. Like I said in the beginning of the video, expandability, customization, and I, dare I say it, the F word, future proofing, this case has got you covered. Barros will actually make add-ons for the existing base model to cover the new technology. That way you don't have to buy a new case just because technology has changed. When I went from one build to my next build to the next build, I always went bigger or better. And typically I would buy a case for whatever I'm building. So next time I upgrade, I'd have to buy a whole new case and start over from scratch. Um, and that was sort of having the modular design in this case. So if I bought the Alpha, I did an all-in-one, like a Corsair H100 cooler, and then everything else was uh, standard hard drives uh, and just air cooled. If I went to a water cooling system, I'd have to go buy a whole new case. And instead, with this here, you can just buy the accessories to add on the wings, and boom, now you can slap on radiators, and now it's a fully water-cooled system. Questions I get about my case, and, you know, just, I'm sure the questions are going to come from you guys. Oh, it's, uh... Dust, it's open dust. air. Isn't it going to get hot? Isn't it going to not cool right? I mean, it's, they're in boxed up cases for a reason, aren't they? Uh, what about dust? It's going to get so dusty, it's not even going to work. Dust is actually the number one thing that always pops up. Uh, so, like, traditional cases, they weren't really designed to combat one thing or another other than the house component. And then that's also where, like, filters came in. Fans pull in air, but all the dust is getting consolidated in that pool pushed into the case, but it doesn't always get pulled back out. Uh, Which is, the dust will get landed in crevices or underneath guards. Since it doesn't pull out all the dust, that's where you get your build-up, where dust filters come in and help prevent a little bit of that. Now, with the open air design, the radiator is now not pointing the same direction towards your components, so like your motherboard, your graphics cards, or anything like that. So when the fan blows or pulls air and blows it through the radiator, the dust actually only builds up on the radiator and the fan blade. It doesn't blow it directly on the component. That's not to say the components won't collect dust, but now the only dust it collects is falling dust, which isn't concentrated by fans. So it'll build a light dust buildup, comparatively speaking, to the rest where the fans are blowing on. I actually find myself wanting to clean my computer way more often now because I'm seeing it, and the second I notice dust on it, I can just hit it real quickly. It takes me all those seconds and boom, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my uh, point, you know, I'll clean this case way before I'm going to take my main computer apart and pull the sides off and take everything apart. You know, that that's part of the, uh, no pun intended, but the out of the box thinking that led to this case, you know, it's just mm -hmm, a game changer. Mm -hmm. It really is a out of the box design and mentality. I guess the big question everybody's asking here is, uh, when can we get it? <laughs> so, we, we wanted to release on December 1st, uh, and then we started getting a lot of attention from outside the U.S. We weren't really expecting that, but we, it didn't upset us. We wanted to make sure that we covered our bases, so what we did was the packaging we had set up, uh, we are now beefing it up, and it'll be a universal packaging, regardless if it's in the U.S. or overseas, uh, it is now going to be capable of uh, withstanding shipping any distance now. Uh, because Which, we don't want people receiving this and it's damaged. I mean, that's just... It's a, it's a heartbreak. I mean, the one thing that upsets me the most is when I uh, I order something or I'm doing a fresh build, they order all my components and then something shows and it looks like it was involved in a football gang or, or football game. Uh, it just it completely trampled across by the whole team. It just... Now I gotta deal with turnaround times and stuff like that. So we we want to make sure when the, you receive this product, it's the product that you expect to receive. And so, do we have a uh, a time frame? Is it uh, soon? Next month? Uh, I'm, I I want to say within the next thirty days for sure. Within the next thirty um, days, guys. Shipping was the hurdle that really pushed us back a little. We're pretty much done with figuring out the packaging on that point. Um, and another thing we actually just changed within the last month is uh, fingerprints are a very prominent thing with gloss finishes. And since this is going to be up on the wall, you're going to have to use your hands to mount it, uh, fingerprints are going to happen. Uh, so we've been playing one around with a lot of finishes, and we just found one. Uh, it gives a nice texture. Uh, it's a slightly less than satin finish. 
but no fingerprints show up on it. Uh, it just real nice clean finish. There's gonna be a Kickstarter launch for this guys, and I will I will link the Facebook page, which is where you guys need to go and sign up and like his page so you guys can get the newest releases information on that. And I when the Kickstarter becomes available, I will also link it on my page and my uh, on this video. Uh, so for those of you who are watching it after the release, you'll finally be able to click there and watch it. So look down below for those comments. Okay. So you're okay. gonna have the uh, you're gonna have white, black, red, and blue and orange actually. So you have five colors. Is that correct? Five colors. Five yes. colors. Yes. Five. Okay. And yep. two different yep. finishes in all of them. It'll probably be one finish per color. Um, the black will be a less than satin. The white will probably be less than satin. Both of them fingerprint free. Okay. But uh, the red. The blue and the orange will be in a high gloss. And these so, are special so, editions for the Kickstarter folks only, as I understand it, correct? Right. See how it goes, but we'll probably make sta black will be the standard color, um, and possibly white. And then anything outside that, we will actually offer an option for custom coating uh, per customer if they request it. Uh, and it all depend on what color they pick. Um, there's lots of options, and it's a powder coating finish, so it's extremely durable. But they also offer pearlescence and different colors so why would we limit our customers custom paint jobs on these is definitely not out of the question no not at all now here's the other million dollar question that uh, we're all wanting to know lee what is it going to cost us starting out it'll be around 220 dollars uh for the alpha kit and then they'll go up from there depending on uh what options you select so the wings and the acrylic uh and the acrylic we're looking to do quarter inch thick i mean so i mean it's not a skimpy piece of uh, acrylic. Uh, it's gonna have some s substance to it. We also wanted to make it to where people could close these up and make them look nice and neat. So acrylic's a durable material. Uh, we would love to do glass, but the other uh, aspect we try to keep in mind when designing this case is keep keeping weight way down. The uh, acrylic was our option for that. We have a lot of accessories um, that we have in line that are already designed. Um, that we won't have on Kickstarter, uh, just for the sake of keeping simplicity. Uh, but once our website is up and launched, there's going to be more accessories already ready to go. Um, for instance, uh, we'll have a plate that will cover up the two spots to the right of the motherboard where the radiator would mount for an all-in-one system. But where you can mount your reservoirs to it versus mounting it to the case. So now you don't have to cut into the case. Uh, you can mount on a plate. If you decide you want to go back the other way to an all-in-one system, take that plate off, put the all-in-one system back on, and now you don't have ugly exposed holes that you had to use to modify the producing new parts for this and testing them. And uh, we're hoping to have like a full line of them available uh, with the launch of the website. Our goal would be to sell around 100 units. Okay, um, so their goal is 100, so let's make this happen. Customer service is going to be great with this company, I can tell you that right now. Uh, when I first started inquiring, I, I didn't think I'd ever get an answer back, and I got one in like 10 minutes. And it's been that way ever since before me and him ever got to be friends and uh, talking about this case on a first-name basis, basically. So I can tell you, customer service is going to be great. So I don't have to worry about anything there. If you have questions, you will answer it on the Facebook page. Uh, when the Kickstarter launches, I'll add a link for that down below as well. So make sure you like his Facebook page. They've also got a YouTube channel. Make sure you like that there because he's is going to update some videos for you guys to watch on his end of, other than mine. Yeah, uh, we'll, be, yeah we'll be putting out a lot of videos of builds, of builds and different and configurations. Different configurations and, and, uh, uh, just, just continually, continually trying to, trying to be, involved be involved with everything going around. Going around. So, I appreciate you guys staying. I know this is a long video, but it is, it's a new piece of technology. It's an amazing case. There's a lot to go over with it. For those of you that have stuck it out to the end, obviously you're going to be one of the first ones in line to get this case when it comes available. And uh, we commend you for that, and you're definitely going to enjoy it. You're going to love this case, and your friends are going to be like, whoa, where did you get that? So make sure you guys can't ask enough. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to it. Make sure you check out the Pharos website. And thanks for watching. You want to say something? No, have a good one, guys. Thank you for uh, right, watching guys. the video, and, the video we'll and see you soon. We'll see you soon. All right, thanks for checking us out.